Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in circular waveguide. Before going to solve the problems, let's discuss important formulas to be used in this. So here the phase shift constant or propagation constant. Propagation constant gamma is equal to j beta that is equal to square root of h square minus omega square mu epsilon. From this we can get the phase shift constant beta is equal to square root of omega square mu epsilon minus h square. H n m represent the h value of the particular mode in that circular waveguide. So here it can be obtained by using this formula. This is very important one. H n m is equal to h a of n m by a. Here a represents the radius of the circular waveguide. n m means mode value for example te11 means this is what n and m values okay so next cut off wavelength lambda c that is equal to 2 pi by h n m cut off frequency fc is equal to c into h n m by 2 pi in terms of hertz so here c is nothing but the velocity of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so next guided wavelength lambda g is equal to Lambda by square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. Here the unit is meter. This lambda is equal to C by F. This F is the operating frequency of the waveguide. Okay. So next phase velocity Vp is equal to C by square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. Here unit is meter per second. Group velocity Vg is equal to C into square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. So here we are going to find out all these characteristics values. Okay. Next important formula is wave impedance. For Te waves, transverse electric waves, this wave impedance is equal to eta by square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. So here this eta is nothing but the characteristics impedance. Its value is equal to 120 pi or 377 ohm. So here for TEM waves, this value is equal to eta multiplied with square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. So wave impedance is also very important characteristics of this circular waveguide. Okay. Next, the Bessel function values are given here. HA of 0, 1 mode. For this TEM waves is 2.405. For this TE waves its value is 3.83. So you have to remember all these values. These all are very important. You have to remember all these values. Sometimes in examinations they may give this values. Okay in the question. So let's solve one problem here. Calculate the cutoff wavelength, guide wavelength, cutoff frequency, phase velocity, group velocity and impedance of a given circular waveguide whose internal diameter is 4.5 cm used for a signal at a frequency of 11 GHz propagated in TE01 mode. Okay. So in the solution part first we are going to write the given data. Here the dominant mode is TE01 mode. So here n is equal to 0, m is equal to 1 and then the frequency okay so here the frequency is what 11 gigahertz so that can be written like this 11 into 10 to the power 9 hertz then the diameter is 4.5 centimeter so we are going to use the radius r okay this radius r is nothing but a okay a is equal to d by 2 is equal to 2.25 in terms of meter we can add this 10 to the power minus 2 do you all understand these things so first we have to write the given data. So next we are going to find out the value of this H n m. Okay. So this is what very important parameter. Okay. In circular waveguide. So for that we have to consider H a of 0 1 for this T e wave. So for this T e transverse electric wave its value is 3.83. Okay. So here H of 0 1 is equal to H A of 0 1 by A that is equal to 3.83 that is the value of H A 0 1 divided by 2.25 into 10 to the power minus 12 that is the radius value. Then we can get the answer as 170.22. Do 
Do you all understand this one? So we have obtained the H value here. After that, we can substitute this value in the formula of cutoff frequency. Here the cutoff frequency formula is C into HNM by 2 pi. So here C value is what? 3 into 10 to the power 8 into HNM value is what? 170.22 divided by 2 pi. We can get the answer as 8.127 gigahertz. Next, we are going to find out cutoff wavelength lambda c. Lambda c is equal to 2 pi by h n m. So, here we have to substitute this h value 170.22. We can get the answer as 0 0.036 meter. Okay, so we have obtained the values of f c that is cutoff frequency and cutoff wavelength. Okay, next we are going to find out the guided wavelength lambda g. Its formula is lambda by square root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. So here we are going to obtain the value of this lambda using the formula c by f. Here c value is 3 into 10 to the power 8. f value is 11 into 10 to the power 9. So then we can get the lambda value as 0 0.027 meter. We can substitute this value in this lambda g formula. We have already obtained the value of this fc as 8.127 gigahertz, right? So we have to substitute the value of this lambda divided by square root of 1 minus 8.127 by 11 the whole square. We can get the answer as 0 0.04 meter. Okay. Next one is phase velocity. It can be obtained by using the formula c by square root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. We have to substitute the value of this c, fc and f. Okay. Then we can get the answer as 445.16 in 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Okay, so next group velocity. This formula is C into square root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. C is 3 into 10 to the power 8. Fc value is 8.127 gigahertz divided by 11 gigahertz, right? Then we can get the answer as 202.17 in 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Okay. And the last characteristics wave impedance for this TE waves is that TE is equal to eta by square root of 1 minus FC by F the whole square that is equal to eta value is what 120 pi that is the characteristics impedance divided by square root of 1 minus 8.127 by 11 the whole square we can get the answer as 559.41 ohm okay.